See what sheep do. Sheep stick together. They flock together. That's a very important trait that we require the sheep to do. Because if they all split off individually, the dog would have one heck of a job bringing him in one at a time. So we like that flocking instinct. But of course that causes them to stick on the fence there and that's not going to help us very much. So we might get old Barney to help us with it a little bit and he'll keep the sheep off the fence for us. Barney's a 12 year old dog, totally deaf. Or maybe selective hearing as some people say. No, he's not totally deaf, he's just, a, he's just very old. Come on Barney. There he goes, he can still do it. So we're getting to create some movement. I'm not sure this puppy's going to work. What do you think? Anyone think it might? I have a feeling that this puppy's pretty keen to do something. Hopefully he does something good. So we put her down. There she goes, look at that. Now her job was to bring sheep to me. And of course, she doesn't really know that very well. She knows she should gather sheep and round them up. And her intention is to put them together, as you can see. So I'm just going to introduce myself to say, work for me. And this is my extra long arm. This is an apparatus specifically joined, uh, designed for sheepdog work. The gardener's got to turn it into a grass rake. It just helps me reach my little puppy. If I can block that puppy there, whoops, there she goes. Change her direction, and when she gets, when she goes in that direction, I leave her alone, and that's her reward. I've got a feeling Barney's turned into a puppy playing with his puppy. Look at him go, he loves this job. Just proving that female dogs can do two things at once, just like females generally. She's peeing and working. My goodness, that's a big pee. There she goes. She balances up again. Around she goes. Now, she's got a favourite side. And a favourite side is, whoops, here we go, good boy, Barney. Favourite side is, his favourite direction is that direction which she's going in now. Because dogs themselves, like humans, are left and right side dominant. So what we have to do is we have to introduce our dogs to work their weaker side twice as much as their stronger side. Now if you are, anyone's into animal movement, and some of you people are from horsey background, if you watch her gait when she moves that way, she struggles a little bit, whereas that way she's much smoother. And that's the same as horses. Some horses have a real a liking for going one direction, and they don't like so much going the other direction. So what we do is we practice their weaker side. I'm not sure this puppy's gonna make it as a sheepdog. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon she might. Ten weeks old, guys. Give a round of applause, folks. Better try and catch you, man. Everybody hates puppies. We all got ah. It's just a very well bred puppy, and we've had a little look at it today. I'm going to leave Fang out here to make things go well, because they will go and lean on the fence, these sheep. And we'll let the little puppy go and see what she does. And we have a couple of special tools for the helpers work sheep dogs. This is a special tool specifically designed for sheep dog handlers. The gardener's got to turn it into a grass rake. It allows me just to reach a little bit wide with my extra long arms and change that puppy's direction because as you can see she wants to go and control those sheep she's going to the heads and controlling those sheep and she's got a favourite way you watch what she does if I say nothing to her she goes in that direction can you see which direction she goes? same direction every time I wonder why that is so I have to make it so that she goes the other direction if you watch her movement she's not as comfortable going in that direction but that's the same as us we're left, then I'm not putting pressure on her, so you switch back to her favourite direction. Because we are left and side, side dominant and right side dominant, just much as dogs are. Here she goes, bouncing back again. And she's quite determined to make, it, make herself go the right the way she wants to go. She beat me then, so what I'll do is I'll stop her a little bit earlier. The only thing that's happening with a little puppy, if you're not careful, is because they're pack animals, they start to work to the other dog instead of working to me. Look at that, she did that really well. That's a beautiful move. And now I allow her to go her favourite way. So she gets a reward. So training puppies like this is all about reward. No, no uh, discipline. Because she's naturally very good. She's getting more and more confident each time she goes. But her reward is being allowed to work sheep. So I stop her over here and I say, don't go this way. 
Go the other way, and if you go the other way, you get to work sheep. There you go, work sheep. And she goes, oh, cool. Because she gets to work sheep, she will do almost anything for me. Do you think we should keep this little puppy? Or do you think she's not going to make it? Oh, you think she's okay? Yeah, okay. No worries. Now, the most difficult thing about working puppies, of course, is catching them. But she's a little bit hot right now, so she might be easy. When you're training a puppy at home, what we do is we catch them after a couple of minutes, and then we let them go again. Because if you catch them and put them away like we are today, they learn quickly, oh I see, but if it catches me, I have to go back in the ute, so maybe it's not that good to be caught, and they get harder and harder and harder to catch. Now they're alright when they're this big, but when they're that big, they're much quicker than us. Can I hand that one to you? And if you take it over the fence, some of those kids might like the Pat Bella. Be careful, she might bite you, she hasn't, she hasn't eaten the child today. And we did feed her before she comes, so she should be okay. And did you notice Fang never even stopped doing what he was doing, he just kept going about his business because he couldn't care less about that puppy, he got to work sheep. Give the puppy a round of applause, folks. And give Fang a round of applause too, hop out.